Hello Barcelona and everyone else. My name is Dominic, I'm an engineer at the Hamburg Port Authority and me and the co-worker will tell you a little bit about traffic technologies and management in the Port of Hamburg. But first, let me show you a little data about the impacts of the COVID-19 crisis in the Port of Hamburg regarding the traffic on the roads. In March, many people in Hamburg started to work remotely and the local governments have closed down many branches and also schools. Therefore, you can see a reduction of the car traffic by approximately 30% in March. And uh, in October, we already w went back to our former level. The bottom line shows you the uh, track traffic, where we just have an increase of approximately 10%, and we're back on our former level already in June. The data you see was generated on our main port road, but how would you get it? Now you can see a central part of the port of Hamburg and many places where traffic technologies are being used, such as wireless sensors, Wi-Fi detection, um, wave motion system and thermal cameras, and also many tra technologies we use in roadworks coordination and to pro provide information and data for the public. And one thing we have implemented recently are so-called roadside units, RSU, which communicate with a onboard units, OBU, which you can see on this picture. The first truck will get an information how much longer he will have to wait until he gets a green light. The second one will receive the same data, but the onboard unit will now, for example, recommend a certain speed. Let's say the truck driver is driving 60 kilometers an hour and the onboard unit recommends 40 kilometers to get a green light. Therefore, the driver just has to roll a little bit and then keep 40 kilometers. Otherwise, in old times, he would continue driving 60, see a red light, stop for a couple of seconds and then accelerate from zero to 60 again. By that, we can improve the traffic flow and also reduce air pollution and fuel consumptions. And if the th third driver is lucky, he might not have an onboard unit, but the driver in front of him, and therefore he also has some benefits of the system we are using. The data can, of course, also be used by cyclists, let's say via a smartphone app or external TV screens, which can also detect um, the amount of cyclists and also their speed, and then do also a recommendation. Let's say, hurry up for the next 100 meters, and if you do so, you will get the green light, or maybe it will tell you, you are fine, it's the right speed, just continue, or relax, slow down, you won't do it, and I won't get the green light anyway. But now, let's get over to Rando, who will tell you a little bit more about one of his projects. The increasing traffic load on Hamburg's roads could lead to more and more traffic collapses in urban and rural areas. Collapses are often the result of bottlenecks caused by inefficient, mainly uncoordinated traffic control and the lack of real-time data. The traffic management is mostly focused on the junction equipped with counting and request loops, like you can see in this picture. The junctions are often individual configurations of static signal programs, but the traffic flow is significantly influenced by the switching of traffic lights at the right time. This is where our traffic management comes in to make the traffic net in the port area more intelligent and find the best switching points beyond the individual view of one junction. Our project Mozart stands for the mobility improvement through traffic signal controlled by quantum-based artificial intelligence. The project's aim is to increase transport performance, reduce resource consumption and polluted emissions all over the harbor roads, especially in our port network with much heavy goods and other commercial road transport we can expect significant positive effects. So what is required for our approach? First, we need a traffic model for the representation of traffic events in a sufficient real-time situation picture. To obtain a timely representation of the traffic, a connection with the existing and new sensors in the road network is necessary, like we presented in this picture. We have our loops, but also further information by cars or sensors. Second, what is necessary is a computation performance for the overall optimization. But in the past, this solution of those optimization problems was often only possible on a small scale, 
not what is needed over a whole complex traffic situation. With a so-called quantum-inspired annealer unit, a solution with a high number of possible scenarios is available. These very time-consuming calculations that would take weeks or even years can now be solved within a few seconds. Here we can see how the principle of processing the events is carried out by a digital annealer. The first step is building a model for the representation. There we put in all our traffic information like infrastructure data, traffic light boundary conditions, signal programs and of course the traffic volume. Second is the using of the quantum inspired processor technology called digital annealer. This processor unit is inspired by quantum based calculations which delivers a sufficient approach to a possible minimum of time loss for the road users. Our project experiences already show us that many modeled scenarios of signal programs can be combined and solved even within seconds. The result is an optimum for the best available constellation of traffic light programs. By using a central processing unit, which you can also call strategy computer, the optimization is applied to the overall system resulting in a holistic solution that map temporary fluctuations and local specialities. In this picture, the central unit is represented by a computer sending a 5G signal to the traffic lights. This example shows the vision of a new generation of management technology by integrating a net of sensors in the port traffic. For example, to get the pollution and weather information. The real-time generated signal programs in the entire traffic network will guide road users through the traffic port in a foresighted manner. For example, by prioritizing detected truck clusters, which get green. This way, the cluster can avoid breaks and accelerations. In addition, the traffic situation image enables further analysis, such as for the example, travel time determination and lost time images. Thanks for your attention. If you are interested in our projects or further information of our traffic management, you can contact us on the following contact details.